I'm a convicted felon and I carry a gun every day for self-defense. So let's talk about it. Hey, hey, what's up everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. This is your first time on the channel and you want to hear more prison stories. Learn what it's like to be a convicted felon when you get outside of prison. Go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so listen, I want to start this video by going ahead. I know that there's going to be a bunch of Karens and Richards, whatever you want to call them, who jump in the comments of every one of my videos whenever I talk about self-defense and the fact that we can't have guns. Listen to me. I know the Constitution. But what you need to do is you need to go and reread the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is our gun rights, but it also has provisions for people losing those rights. And bottom line is, as a convicted felon, under that amendment, your ass will go to prison for having a gun. So for all the people out there who are on this hardcore shit about the Constitution says the right to bear arms shall not be infringed, guess what? You believe in all the other amendments when you're talking about free speech and everything? Well, this is also under the amendment. Under a felony conviction, you can't have a gun, man. That's just all there is to it. Also, I want to address this right off the bat. When I talk about self-defense and I show you what I'm about to show you, I know that there's going to be a hundred assholes who are going to scoff and be like, dude, you're going to get yourself killed with that and somebody with a real gun is going to do this. And I, I've heard it all. Um, I am going to be talking about a gun, but I'm also going to be talking about a knife. And I've heard everybody, oh, you bring a knife to a gunfight. Here's the thing that you have to realize. When I talk about self-defense on this channel and I talk about self-defense on my new channel, which is called Alternative Self-Defense, I am talking about it from the perspective of a guy, an ex-felon, who lives the straight and narrow now. I'm not going to be in the streets in situations where I have to worry about, you know, bringing knives to gunfights. Now, I get it. If I'm, my family or me are going to become a victim of a robbery or something or some kind of act of violence that we did not get ourselves into, I understand that. If somebody has a real gun, what I carry is not going to stand a chance against that. If somebody puts a gun on me and I feel like it can be a smooth robbery, I'm going to lay down. If I feel like we're going to get shot and killed regardless, then I'm going out without a, with a fight. Excuse me. But... So bear that in mind whenever I show you what I'm going to show you. I'm going to give you my reasoning for why I carry this thing. And the reason why I would rather have it than not have it is because I'm not going to be in one of those situations. If somebody's coming at me, they're dead in the wrong. And this tool that I have is just to give me some time to back their asses up off of me so I can either flee and get my family to safety or I can continue to use my hands to finish what I started. So this is what I carry. This is a Beretta APX and it is an exact replica. Now it's an air gun for any federalities out there watching. This thing does shoot BBs. Now here's the thing. It is CO2 powered and in just a minute I'm going to cut to a video and I'm going to show you how you load this thing up and how you shoot it. But the bottom line is it's almost an exact replica. There's the safety on the side trigger it's got a nice little six i know it i think it's actually a 10 pound pull which might not be nice to some people but i like the feel of that that pull it's a real metal slide um got one hand on the camera here but as you can see it has blowback action it has the weight and the feel of the real thing so when this is in your holster it looks real so guess what in georgia where we have open carry laws Regardless, it doesn't apply to this, but we have open carry laws for real guns. But with this, it doesn't matter because they're not regulated in my state. Now, feel free to check your local laws and your state laws because maybe it's not the same for you. But Georgia has very strong stand your ground laws and people can defend themselves here. That's why I live in this amazing state. So let me set that down for a second and just tell you that you've got that on your hip. It's an exact replica. It looks just like a gun. So let's say somebody's out there looking for somebody to go prey on in a parking lot at night. If he sees a male with a pistol on his hip with his family, I know if I was the one trying to do the robbing, I would pass him over because I know he's going to probably die or shoot me or kill me. So there's step one of the defense. Part two of the defense with that thing is this. It takes CO2 cartridges. Now, they don't last forever. One of them in there will probably last about a week. But 
CO2 cartridges are so damn cheap, man. I bought a box of, I think, 40 for like 15 bucks. So anytime you know that you're going to be out and about, you can load it with a new CO2 cartridge, man. They're cents, you know what I mean? It's not that big of a deal. But it's CO2 power, so that thing will fire a 20-round mag of BBs at about 450 feet per second. Now, I understand. Guns are triple and quadruple that. And they're real bullets and everything. But it's like I said, man, this is a last line of defense for somebody because I'm completely law-abiding. I'm not out here doing no dumb shit. I'm trying to buy myself some time in that situation. So if I have this thing on me and somebody is coming at us and he's going to get in my space, try to attack me or attack my family, I take this thing and dump this whole clip because they'll come out as fast as you can pull the trigger in his face. Hopefully, I'm not going to say luckily, hopefully, hit him in the eyes, whatever, man. It's going to fucking hurt. Excuse my language, but it is going to hurt. You are not taking that at 450 feet per second within a few feet distance straight to the face and not reacting. So he's coming at me. He doesn't have that same uh, need to survive and need pr to, to protect that I'm going to have. He's going to be operating maybe off of a little bit of adrenaline to try to pull off his crime, but I'm willing to die. So he's not going to just endure pain like a man who thinks he's about to die or his family is about to die would do so when you're dumping that clip in his face it could just be the thing that buys you some time to be able to do what you got to do with your hands or the knife that you carry which leads me into my other part of my everyday carry which is this knife i know a lot of people are gonna be like oh man that's so small but check it out this is a gerber and as you can see it's got a little clip so i can clip it in my pocket on my belt wherever this little bastard is super sharp. It's got a nice handle to it. And I know the blade is not that big, but here's the reason why I choose to carry knives like this. The blade is going to be very sturdy. It's going to be very sharp. And I've made this point before on my other channel and on this channel. If you're carrying a knife, it is basically an extension of your hand. So if you're not working out and practicing and you're no good with your hands, a knife isn't going to be any good to you anyway. And so... Knives are only as good as the hand that is holding them. If you can't swing in a fight or with your hands, you're not going to be any good swinging with your hands. My dog has a cat cornered up back here on this pile of trees. But anyway, so that's my other everyday carry. Carry the pistol, carry the knife, and hopefully, man, nothing will ever happen like that. But dude... I'm going to be ready if it does. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the video right quick, show you guys how this thing gets loaded up and how you and how it shoots. Okay, guys, so I'm going to attempt to do this. I only have so many hands. But as you can see, right here, got a box of CO2s. Quantity is 40. I'm going to head and pull one out of there. For those that don't know, that's what they look like. So here's the pistol, good look at it, the Beretta APX, and right here, oh, drop that, is your mag drop. Oh, that thing's having a hard time focusing. So you push that, mag comes out, boom, I've already got some, damn, it's not going to focus, but either way, you can tell I've already got some BBs in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot those, but here's what happens. The back of this comes off. And it is kind of hard, so you got to work that off. It exposes, well, excuse me, after you drop the clip. It exposes that right there. So you turn this to the left, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. As always, old CO2 comes out. Oh, dropping everything. This sucks. New CO2 goes in right there. And if you'll listen, you might be able to hear the hiss. If these cars will quit coming by. Oh. Yep. There we go. So it's sealed in. Probably shouldn't have made that big of a hiss. I think I should have put the uh, back back on it. So, we're locked and loaded. Safety. Right there, it won't shoot. Right there, it will. All right. Come over here to the target. I've only got a couple of BBs in here, but I just wanted to show you guys 
that, like I said, it, it's a, a last ditch effort to protect yourself and protect your family. But as you can see, ran out of BBs, but I wasn't aiming for any kind of uh, accuracy or anything. I was just shooting and looking at the camera, but you can see, hold on. You can see that there's a little bit of power there. I mean, of course, it's not a real gun, and it's not even like a uh, a precharged pneumatic. And some of the uh, the gas pistons would probably be stronger, but when you're talking about the precharged pneumatics and the gas piston pistols, pistols, excuse me, those things are like huge, and they look stupid as hell. You're not going to get the replicas like this. Now, check this out. Also, slide that back up. It's pretty cool. So. You get the look and the feel, which can ward off the people that you're not even knowing or looking at you. But then, if the situation arises, you've got 20 rounds in there that you can dump in somebody's face, which will give you the time to do what you need to do. So guys, there you have it. That's what it is. That's what I carry every day. And if you want to pick up one of these, you can get you one in the link down in the description of this video, the knife and the pistol. Appreciate that. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Until next time.